Alright, sorry for the video quality on this one, guys. Eh, you can't see shit. I'm recording with my phone. So this is a HP Pavilion G6. It's got a A6 3400M APU and everything. It is currently, now let me know if I'm doing anything wrong here. The GPU boost is at 3 GHz, although that'll only clock one core at a time. It's currently overclocked to 2.4 GHz. It won't show that right here, there's the clock there. It won't show that because I'm not stressing it right now. So everything else is pretty much stock on here. So that it can still run the low, you know, non-power usaging stuff. And then it'll go up to that one for gaming, hopefully. Now, I upped the voltage just a little bit on this one just to make sure there was enough voltage to do stuff with that kind of stuff or thing. Now, I do have a cooling pad. It's a homemade 120 mil fan and an Xbox with a little speed controller. I've got that turned up all the way. I'm just going to run a little stress test here. Now, this is coming up stable every time. I've been running the stress test, you know, I ran it for about 20 minutes earlier. And it wasn't doing anything, it didn't top up, it didn't top out, no errors or anything down here as you can see. Now you can see 2.4 gigahertz, you can see the voltage went up. And they're all, it, they didn't really go above 70. I'll just let this run for a little bit. Just so you guys can see that it is in fact stable. Now, I have no video editing software, so I'm not going to fast forward it or anything. Now, for some reason, that's the Core Temp app. If you look up at the CPU app, for some reason it stays at that clock, and I think that's just because the CPU that it is, that's what it's supposed to be clocked at. It's a 1.4 gigahertz quad core with a 2.8 turbo. And this one down here says the overclock that I have, and as you can see, there's no errors or anything going on here. This is still going nice and fine. You can hear the fans kicked up a little bit. It'll get warm here, but not hot. There's nothing too bad going on here. And I've managed to improve my FPS when gaming quite a bit with this. So this is stable. I'll go through all my stuff if you want to use it. However, if you break your computer while using this, fuck you, it's your fault. <laughs> so... That's how I have everything set. These, I didn't touch anything down here. I just touched this up here. So I left the voltage where it was, which is the max voltage that the processor can take. And I just went and I pretty much clicked it down, clicked the 1. It was a 2, clicked it up to the 1. And then it jumped it up a little bit too much, so I went back down 1. I don't remember exactly what I did, but anyway, 3 gigahertz. This one here... It was at 3, I bumped it down to 1, changed the FID to 20. So I turned this one down, turned this one down as well. Turned the voltage up just a little bit, just to make sure there was enough power to run everything. And everything's still running table, it just started a second test here. So let me minimize this. Just started a second test. You can see it's running a little bit high right now. But then again, when you're gaming, you're not going to be at 100% 24-7. So it is running a little hot. This processor says on the site that it can run up to 100 degrees. If it hits 80, I'm stopping the stress test. Because, you know, I don't really want to burn it out. For some reason up here it says 79. Down here it says 78. Which is interesting. But anywho... That is my stable overclock and everything. I'll open up CCleaner so you can you can see my processor there, but you can Okay. So there's all the specs. And once again, sorry for the quality, this is my phone. There's the APU graphics card hooked up to that processor. Anywho, let's stop this stress test.
because it is very stressful and it went away on me because I minimized it open window now it seems to be holding steady at 78, 79 but my cooling pad underneath it is also at full blast right now so let's just go test and we'll hit stop softball workers ok and you can see it will drop right back down to a low cork oh see now that is what I'm talking about it's going why is it saying up there? Okay, so there's idle. And it'll jump around in between there. And then it'll jump up to 3 gigahertz, but it's only actually clocking one of the cores up to 3 gigahertz. Because that's the AMD boost, whatever it is. So anyway, yeah. Feel free to try what I did. It seems to be running stable for me. However, I take zero responsibility for if it breaks your computer. And if you want to see, I have a couple of ones here. This one is overclock more, which I was just doing. And then I have another one that's overclocked to 2 gigahertz. Just a little bit less. I had it at 2.2, but it seems stable, so, you know. That's 2 gigahertz with the same 3 gigahertz. And then if you go profile 1, that's default. So that's everything at normal. You can see what they are at normal. Yeah. I'm just going to change back over to overclock more. Apply again. Make sure that I didn't move that. Okay. There we go. Have fun, everybody.